iPhone Pro rumors begin, and that doesn't mean that the other iPhones aren't happening. HTC Nexus codenames emerge, but uh, that doesn't hit very much. And changes to the Google Play Store include the death of certain products. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, no, I have not seen Batman vs Superman, but I could not resist the t-shirt. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news start with Google, but not in a good way. Those of you that were in the market for an Android tablet, and I don't blame you if you weren't. Well, the Nexus 9 is no longer on the Google Store, and products like the Moto 360 Sport that were on sale everywhere are now removed from the store. Clearly, either Google is working on bringing us new products, which we hope, or these ones weren't just selling well. And for those of you that have been worried about Sony, including me, I am a big fan of Sony smartphones and the cameras, pretty much using one right now, uh, well, the company's quarter results weren't really that bad. For the first time in a very, very long time, the company has posted profits, $2.7 billion. And even though the smartphone division hasn't really grown from where it was, we are hoping that devices like the Xperia X will change that whenever they do launch. Now, a company that we were not expecting to post losses was LG. The company has now confirmed that it's currently $160 million down from the revenue that it projected for the quarter. And uh, it expected to sell 3 million G5s in that period of time, and it only sold 1.6 million. It's rather sad. That phone has received a lot of negative publicity, and that's really not a bad phone at all. I really don't like the fact that that happens, but that's the internet. Hopefully things change as we have to remember that the G5 barely launched at the time that the quarter was by its midpoint, so there could be another opportunity for LG to pick up the slack. Now the last time that we heard about HTC codenames for the Nexus devices, they weren't from trusted sources, and now they are. It seems that Marlin and Sailfish are the codenames for both devices. Seems that there is an M1 and an S1 being worked on, and we don't know which one is the higher end and which one is not. But given our experience with the HTC 10, those of you that were skeptical about this company handling the Nexus, I cannot wait to see what they come up with, because the 10 was a really good phone. And finally, the very interesting news today have to do with the iPhone Pro. Yes, we've got some leak schematics. Apparently, it shares the design and aesthetics of the iPhone 6S Plus, up to the point where it won't change in dimensions. The changes here are pretty much the antenna lines, the fact that we've got dual cameras, and that there is a smart connector at the bottom. Uh, meaning that could we expect Apple Pencil support for this iPhone Pro or whatever it's going to be called? And that would be rather interesting. I'm sure Steve Jobs would most likely roll on his grave as he did mock the whole concept of the stylus. And it leads me to the question of the day. Uh, do you think uh, that Apple will want to bring the Apple Pencil to the iPhone Pro? Do you think that there is a market for the iPhone Pro? You know, it's funny, I think that there is a larger market that would want to see an iPad mini with Apple Pencil support because of its portability, but leave us a comment down below, we'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes if you want to get these news earlier before the video is filmed. Follow us on pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. In addition, you can also catch our videos on Vessel, vessel.com slash pocketnow, and follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.